In this video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you can tie in Mixamo characters into Unity using the pre-made third-person character controls. Mixamo can be found at Mixamo.com, and this is an Adobe-backed product that you will need to make an account to log into. Now then, once you're in here, however, you have a whole slew of characters that you can pick from. So for instance, if I come here and I choose this Jolene character, you can see that she's already modeled, has her UV mapping done, and she's ready to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and download. And one of the things to point out here is under the format and the pose, you have several options. And one of the nice options that Mixamo gives you is under the format, there is an FBX for Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then under the pose, I'm also going to choose Original Pose FBX. From there, I'm going to go ahead and say download. And at this point, this can take a moment as far as the download process goes. But there we can see it actually downloaded down at the bottom here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over into Unity and I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So I'm going to, however, call Mixamo Demo. So what I'm going to do then is now that I've made this folder to hold my Mixamo character, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Import New Asset. Now I'm going to have to navigate here. So I'm going to go to my downloads and find my character. And once I do that, I can go ahead and choose Import. Now a couple of things whenever your character first gets pulled in. As it's the active item, you're going to want to come over into the inspector here. And in the inspector, you're going to see four different tabs here. You're going to see the model, you're going to see rig, animation, and materials. One of the first things you're going to want to do is under the materials, you're going to want to extract the textures. That way then they're embedded inside of Unity and you'll be able to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose extract. And since I made a folder for my character in Mixamo Demo, I'm going to go ahead and select this folder. And it's going to do an import for a second. And then you might get a pop-up saying that it's using a texture as a normal map and it must be marked as normal. You can go ahead and tell it fix now. And then from there, just so you can see, I'm going to quickly drag and drop here. But now you can see in the Unity window here that my character is now has all of her mapping done and she's ready to go. But for right now, I'm going to delete her just because we're going to be using her elsewhere. The only other item that you need to do is we actually need to rig her as a humanoid. So once again, I'm going to come back down into the Mixamo demo and click on the character that I imported. And I'm going to come back over to the inspector for the character and you want to navigate to rig. When you import a Mixamo character, the rig is going to be set to an animation type of generic. So what we need to do is we need to come under here and select humanoid. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply. Now once we've done that, we're actually now ready to use the FBX of our character and replace what the current placeholder is for the player armature. So coming back into my hierarchy, the first step that I'm going to need to do here is under the player armature, I'm going to want to expand this out. And there are three elements here, your player camera root, the geometry, and the skeleton. We're going to reuse the skeleton, but we need to get rid of the armature mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and come in and highlight this, and then I'm going to hit the delete key. Notice now that still all of the other elements are in place as far as the controllers are concerned. But what I need to do now is I'm going to expand out my Mixamo character and I'm going to select, in this case, she's called CH34. I'm going to select the FBX of her. I'm going to click, hold and drag and hover over geometry. And notice what happens in your window. She now takes the place of where the original character was. So now you have your character in place. And I'd like to just show you real quickly what happens when you test here. If you go ahead and do a quick test, what you'll notice is the character, while the mouse will move the character around, she's stuck in that T-pose. She'll actually move forward and you can make her jump. But again, you're not getting any of those animations with her. So I'm going to go ahead here and come back up and get out of the game environment, as there's still one last thing we need to do. And that's under the player armature. 
Although you brought in the geometry for your new character and its skeleton, we didn't actually assign it a specific avatar armature for this character. You do that by highlighting player armature and coming over into the inspector. Your controllers are fine as far as we want to reuse those starter assets for the third person controls. However, we're still using the original armature avatar controls that were applied to the original model. So I'm going to go ahead here and using the bullseye, I'm going to click on this and notice there is one for my character that was imported whenever I pulled in the character. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and now you can see that it changed. However, I'm still keeping the controller the same. Now when I hit play, notice how my character, she actually has a default idle position. I can walk, I can run, and I can jump with her. And her animations are now in place and syncing up to her movements. And again, if you need to, or you don't want any of the UI elements, you can come back over under the nested parent armature unpacked. And where it says UI, you can delete both of the UI elements, thus removing them from the preview window. And now you have controls for a new character model.